Hi guys, uh, a few months ago I purchased a Sapphire Pro 3D printer and it came with MKS Robi Nano board uh, with its own proprietary firmware and the firmware was probably based on Marlin 3D printer firmware but it's closed source and the copy that they keep on GitHub did not compile for me to, to any image that would work on, on my Sapphire Pro. So uh, basically this is the uh, this is the printer and it was interesting to me because it's Core XY uh, setup and um, so I've been trying to to get the Marlin firmware on, on it but I didn't put too much effort but however a few days ago I found the electronic microscope blog on the internet and this guy has a blog and a channel, channel on, on YouTube and on this page is eScope uh, DE, he's probably German and I recommend visiting his YouTube channel, it's it's uh, quite good. And in the YouTube video he has not only successfully flashed the printer with Marlin, but he also forked the code on GitHub for everyone to use. So, um, and he wrote uh, in, in this uh, blog post, he, he described the, the the describe the process how to do it. So I, inst I installed a few weeks ago this firmware uh, successfully and, and since then I've got a lot of people asking me how to do it or to send them the firmware version. That's why I've decided to make this short video describing how to get the source code for Marlin, uh, compile it and install it on your own uh, or on your own firmware. I don't want to share my my uh, firmware exact firmware that I used on my printer because it's a different setup on on my printer and might not work for you. So I think this is a this is a better uh, solution. So to start with it, in order to get the firmware and compile it, you will need several things. So the the first thing is a Git Git uh, source uh, repository software. I use git command line on Linux obviously, but if you're using Windows, uh, the procedures is practically the same. For Windows, I recommend using the commander console, or however you pronounce this, so you can download this uh, basically program from for, for free, and if you download it full, it will include git for Windows, and you can use it the same as any other, uh, same as any other console emulator for Windows, and it has the git installed. Um, also, you will need the Visual Studio code. You will need to download this in, and in, install or uh, in Linux you can add it to your repositories and, and just uh, install it through a command line. And then you will need pl platform IO open source ecosystem for IoT uh, development. Um, but this pl platform IO will be installed directly from direct, directly from uh, from Visual Studio Code. And uh, finally, you will need the Marlin, Marlin firmware. To be precise, uh, you need you will need the fork of it, including settings required for the Sapphire Pro printer already created by the Electronic Microscope, microscope blog. Uh, so I will leave links to all this software in, in comments of this video. If you don't have Git installed, then you need to install it first. On Windows, you will get it with, a, as I said, with the installation of the Commander console. After that, you will need to go to download and uh, download and install Visual Studio and then come here to continue with, with this video. Okay, so I have command line, git is installed, uh, Visual Studio code is installed. So the next thing you need to do is go to the link I provided over here and uh, clone or download this by clicking here, clone or download, and then clicking on this icon or just copy pasting this, um, copying this uh, link over here. Let's start. Let's start our command line, and um, you you need to go to directory in which you want to install the Marlin source code. For me, it will be uh, down, downloads. Let's say downloads directory, and then you just type git uh, git clone and copy the copy the link you downloaded for from GitHub. And okay, this this will last for a while until complete uh, Marlin source code is downloaded. Okay, so when command completes, uh, we need just to go to uh, to Marlin directory. So we'll need you we'll need to type cd Marlin, and we are now in in Marlin directory. And if you if we type git git uh, status, it will tell you that you are on Sapphire Pro TFT branch. Okay, 
Now we, we just need to start Visual Studio Code. You just type code and dot, and that will open um, uh, that will open this directory in, in directory in Visual Studio Code. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can see your files uh, in directories over here, and you, you can see the Marlin di directory. But before we do anything to this, uh, in order to compile and create your bin file that will be installed on the SD card for printer, uh, we need to install Platformio framework. So uh, you just click here to the extensions and then write Platformio. Yeah, Platformio ID. It will be the first one um, offered by the Visual, Visual Studio Code. And then you just click to install here. This will also take some time before um, before it installs. Just be patient and wait it out. Okay, after installation, you will be asked to restart Visual, School, Visual Studio Code as uh, as it says here. Uh, just go ahead and, and close it. And then you can just reopen it. Okay, uh, once the Visual Studio starts again, uh, you will then be greeted with the platform icon on the left side. That's this small icon over here. And generally, uh, there will be a wel welcome screen over here. So the next thing you need to do um, is to check that you're on correct branch uh, for your uh, for your printer. So I'm not be going into details of what the branch is. Just go on the bottom left corner over here in Visual Studio Code and, and you need to click, click on a branch name. So the list of the branches will open. And then you just scroll down and find uh, this one, ending with EZ. So Sapphire Pro 3.5 TFT-EZ. So you just click on that one and you will see the code code changing and um, branch name in the a, in a bottom left cor corner will also change. So why why this branch? So you, you can check on a wiki page on, on GitHub. And also if you go on, on, on a GitHub page, you can see the list of all contributions made to this um, to this branch in in uh, in details. Uh, but basically the thing you need to know the Git will automatically load that branch and that's all all uh, all software setup you need to do. So you, you can also close this. Uh, you can also close this window, and the main configuration for Marlin will, Marlin here will be in uh, these two files: configuration.h and configuration underscore advanced adv.h. So uh, all your uh, Sapphire Pro setup um, details are here, so you can browse through them, and if you know what you're doing, and and set it up. But for me. Uh, this this one was working out. Uh, f uh, this one was working out of the box. To compile this, uh, to compile this firmware, you need to just go over here, and then choose correct correct board for your printer, which is MKS Robin Nano. You just you just expand this uh, this option and click build. That's it. So bu building of this software will start, and the platform IO will download and compile everything that's needed into one, one package. You need to wait. Uh, you need to wait to the end of this. Sometimes this will last for I don't know three, three, four minutes. Okay. So um, we got our firmware compiled, and it, for me it was done in in two minutes and and ten seconds. So if you check. Uh, um, if you check your Marlin, uh, Marlin uh, directory in which Marlin was uh, downloaded from from GitHub, uh, it's so it's going to be in PIO directory and. Then in directory build M MKS Robin Nano. Yeah. So if you go to in your Marlin directory, then dot PIO build MKS Robin Nano, you will see this file Robin Nano bin. And it yeah. It has about 200 kilobytes. That seems about correct. So this Robin Nano bin 
you will need to copy to your SD card, insert that card into, into your printer and then just restart the printer. And as soon as the printer is restarted, your screen should be uh, should have a downloading uh, firmware or something on it. If it doesn't, then rename this Robin Nano bin to Robin Nano 35 dot bin like this um, 35 dot dot bin yeah and that's it basically that's it uh, that's all you need to upgrade this printer to to Marlin uh, 2.0